In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a scientific calculator to determine the equation of the least squares regression line. That is y is equals to a plus bx. Let me brief you in on our problem statement. A mathematics teacher wants to make an unbiased prediction of a grade 11 learner's final marks. She uses the SBA mark and knows the final mark. The results are as follows. So this is the x values and this is the y. We're using the SBA mark to predict the final mark. In question 1.1, we're supposed to draw a scatter plot for the data, but we're just going to go ahead and start with 1.2. In 1.2, we're supposed to calculate the correlation coefficient for the data. That is R. Let me show you how we can do that with a calculator. You want to press mode or setup and then you want to go to stat. Here in this calculator it's option number 3 so I'm going to press 3. After pressing 3 I'm going to go to the equation for the least squares regression line. That is A plus BX. You can see here that it is option number 2. On a different calculator it might be a different option. Maybe option number 3 but the steps are identical. Now I just have to punch in my x values. As you can see, the first x values I have 42 followed by 35, 69, 62, 83, and 75. But then my x values are still carrying on. I have 48, 72, 57, 25, 65 and 68 you have to verify your entries at least two times because if you entered a number incorrectly then your answers are going to be incorrect so now let's put in the y values we have 51 43 76 so you don't just put the y values randomly you put it close to its x value right and 72 let's go to the other column we have 59 85 63 35 59 and 75 yeah there we go we have our data inserted on our calculator we're going to press equals to a couple of times and we're going to press AC. After pressing AC, you press Shift and 1. You can see above 1 that it says stat or distribution there. So we're going to press Shift and then press 1. We are interested in the least regression line. So we're going to press the option that says REG, just short for regression. So here it is option 5. In your calculator, it might be different, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to press 5. After pressing 5, you're going to see that I have A, B, R, X, and Y. So I'm going to press number 3 because I want to find the correlation coefficient. I get 0 0.94. So the value of R is 0 0.94. And then now I can move to 1.3. The question is saying, is the SBA mark a reliable predictor of the final mark? provide a reason for your answer obviously it is a reliable predictor of the final mark because we can see that we have a very high correlation of 0 0.94 let's move to the next equation uh, 1.4 determine the equation of the least squares regression line like i've said we have y being equals to a plus bx so we just need to find the value of A and the value of B using our calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we're going to press AC, Shift, and 1. We're going to go to number 5, Regression, and now we're looking for A. So we're going to press 1. And A is equals to, let me just write that down, A is equals to 14.8. Four, nine. That is the value of A. Now we just need the value of B and we have our equation for the regression line. AC, shift, 1 
and uh, five regression i press two and we have our value of b b is equals to 0 0.86 if we round it off to two decimal places so the equation y is equals to 14.49 plus 0 0.86 x that is the answer to 1.4 let's look at 1.5 predict to this final mark if his sba mark was 66 percent so we just need to substitute 66 into our equation we're gonna have y being equals to 14.49 plus 0 0.86 multiplied by 66 let me just go ahead and do that using my calculator i'm getting 71 71.25 so that will most likely be toby's final mark if his sba mark is 66 percent